It is time to bring in Dr. Judy Workman and Food for Mood. Judy is the co-author of the Serotonin Power Diet, serotoninpowerdiet.com, and also Simon Loses His Tummy. We say good morning to Dr. Workman. Good morning, Judy. Good morning to both of you. And it's nice to hear your voice, cheerful, happy. Scientific. I was just... Uh... I just I was just having the science moment. I didn't know where it came from, but that's <laughs> <coughs> okay. I was waiting well, for it to I be had a, I had a science <laughs> moment having my hair cut. I'm thinking maybe I should stop going to this particular hairdresser because, although oh, she's the source of many of my blogs, <laughs> I get I feel I'm in a, a compromised position because I want her to give me a good haircut. And I feel if I give her devi- advice that she doesn't like, I might end up looking with a bad her. haircut. Yeah, there there, there, there is that uh, that. that uh, Interconnectedness that uh, people have to focus well, on sometimes. The thing, the thing is, I, I, she was extremely cheerful when I saw her, and the last time I'd seen her about six weeks earlier, she was really very grumpy, and I was sort of worried about you know, what I would look like when I came out. Um, and she, you know, told me that she had lost weight. She's on this terrific diet. She wasn't eating very much. Um, she uh, felt she was eating clean. She felt energetic. You know, her body felt great. I thought, okay, this is terrific. Because in the past, she had told me that she was working extremely hard and she'd had all sorts of problems with her landlord and she had a cousin and all his unruly 21-year-old friends who were coming to stay with her for spring break and, you know, on and on and on, a whole series of complaints. And this time, she was really very upbeat. turns out that, yes, she is on a diet and she's eating very little. Um, She wasn't going to a gym yet. Why? Because uh, her physician who had put her on this diet had given her a drug to take and said, you know, you're eating, not eating very much, and while you're on this drug, that will help you lose weight. I don't really want you going to the gym yet. It, the whole thing didn't make too much sense to me, but I just was listening. So I asked her what drug she was on, and she gave me the trade name, which is Adipax. Um, and I knew instantly what she was taking because it's a very old, in fact, the original weight loss drug called Phentermine. For those of you of a certain generation, certain age, you will remember phentermine as being the first half of a drug combination called fenfen, um, fen, phentermine and fenfluramine. And the phentermine was, is a stimulant drug to, that was being used to sort of offset the drowsy side effect of the fenfluramine. Right, so and it was fenfen, right? Yes. Yeah. No, it was just, no, no, just, just the first, the phentermine. So the phentermine is a weight loss drug that is very closely related to amphetamines. But it's not a street drug. It's not addictive. Um, it works on a chemical in the brain called norepinephrine, and it, it does make people, you know, it may increase their heart rate, cause them to be dizzy, cause them to have sort of a, a you know, the, the feeling of being sort of taken over by a stimulant drug. What it does is also take away appetite. And its drug, believe it or not, was first allowed by the FDA to be used at, for weight loss in 1959. So that makes it 60 years of, of a weight loss drug. And it's, off, you know, it's, it's a generic drug now, um, costs very little money. Um, and it, it's given to sort of kickstart a diet because as this, my hairdresser was, you know, in this funk, you know, she, was not in no, she thought she was in no way mentally to really start to, to take on the discipline of a diet. She, so, so, so she was taking the phentermine and it really helped. Um, the problem with the drug is that it really only works for uh, maybe three months or so, and not even that long. Uh, it, it, its effects just no longer are felt after maybe a month or so. And oftentimes when it's stopped, people stop losing weight. You know, they even can start gaining weight because the, the hunger comes back again, the hunger that the drug suppressed. And so she, when I sort of started mumbling something like this, I said, oh, I know, I know, I've taken the drug many times before, which made my antennae go up, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. So clearly, the drug was not having a permanent effect on changing her eating habits, changing her ability to stop eating when she got upset over this whole litany of things that she had told me about. Um, the drug clearly wasn't doing that. All the drug was doing was temporarily making her stop, feel hung- stop feeling hungry. And in addition, her physician wasn't doing this either, wasn't helping her at all, dealing with the things that had caused her to gain weight. I mean, the physician had told her to take supplements to compensate for the food she wasn't eating, like take calcium because she wasn't allowed to eat dairy products, take vitamins because she had a very limited number of 
like fruits that she could be eating. But the, 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 the physician wasn't saying to her, gee, you know, you gained weight before on Fender, after you stopped taking the Fendermine. Um, you, know, you, you sort of mentioned that you were doing a lot of emotional overeating. You know, let's sit down and talk about this. Nor was she, you know, was it suggested to her that maybe she should talk to a life coach or that maybe she should even uh, find a personal trainer to start her on an exercise program again or even join you know, a group like Weight Watchers where she could talk about her problems with other people who probably had similar problems. No, the whole thing was based on take the drug, follow the diet, um, you will lose weight, you will be so happy that you've lost weight that you'll be able to finish the rest of the diet. She had about 30 pounds to lose with no problem. I thought, it's so short-sighted. I mean, it's so easy to give, quote, a magic pill whose magic is going to wear off in a month and, and then, you know, expect the person to continue to lose weight. And, you know, it's just absolutely typical of the, you know, non-thinking approach that many people take to weight loss. I mean, whether it's a pill, whether it's a quick, you know, quick weight loss food plan because there are very few calories, whether it's a cleanse, um, it's just one more example of why weight loss programs fail, even though they seem to be working at the beginning. Because nowhere in these plans is there any attempt to understand what is going on in the person's head to make that person use food to deal with problems. And, of course, I didn't say this to her, my hairdresser, because I'm not her. You know, I, I, I was a client, her customer, to cut her hair. I was not there to give weight loss advice. <clears throat> But, you know, I really wonder when I go back and have my hair done again maybe in two months whether she will have lost weight or whether all the weight will be gained again. And I suspect the latter will be true. Well, it's an ongoing cycle, shall we say. Yeah. And, and again, here, this drug has been around since 1959, Jill. And if it really was so effective in getting people to keep their weight loss, wouldn't people be, you know thinking of it as you know, the weight loss pill to take. But it's not. It's simply a crutch. And it's not bad. I, I, shouldn't, I don't want to say people shouldn't take it, but they should understand that they're, they're, it's really to sort of help get their weight loss, their diet going. And it really, it did work for this girl, woman, because she was able to stop the emotional overeating. All the issues that had caused her to be upset were not being dealt with. I mean, for example, right? No, no. It was it, it, it was a kickstart. We have to. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's 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 what the story is. Thank you so much. To be continued. Absolutely right. right. Thank you very much, Dr. Judy Wortman. Food for mood.